Hello, 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 everybody. Um, I am back after taking a few days off um, and messing around with OBS settings some more, um, none of which really improve much of anything. Uh, my internet is just garbage. Um, so, at least uh, this is an uh, older game, I suppose. So it already doesn't look very up to date. Uh, <laughs> but I guess I won't let that stop me. Uh, let's see. Last we left off, we were in the den. Uh, we had located uh, Vic the Trader, who is being held captive uh, by the Slaver's Guild and Metzger. Um, I believe um, we have to pay Metzger a thousand dollars to free Vic. Uh, we also have a car on the uh, western side of the den that we can purchase for two thousand uh, dollars. I believe we also need another part to make it running, which we do not have yet. So, um, let's check our pit boy here. Um, what do we have going on in the den? Uh, return Anna's locket. Uh, she's a ghost that we found. Collect money from Fred. Um, free Vic. Get the car part for Smitty. <clears throat> um, okay, um, let's head on down here to Mom's Diner. Let's see who we have in here. We have a uh, customer, bar patron, customer, kindly looking older woman. Oh, we got someone up here. One very drunk person. He has a sign that says, Will work for food. Uh, let's talk to him. Spare me some change for <gasps> an out of work farmer. Uh, let's see. What's your story? He sobers up quickly and begins to tell his tale. I used to work to be an upstanding citizen before coming here. I was a peaceful farmer that worked the fields as hard as any man until they started showing up at night, all glowing with pasty white skins. Spooked the hell out of me. It did. Night after night they showed up and stole crops and cattle alike. I could do nothing to stop them. I know what you're going to say. Why didn't you ask for help? I tell you I did. Nobody would believe me. They thought I was crazy. Finally, it just became too much for me. I couldn't take it anymore. I just up and left and came here. And here I've been ever since. Carl starts to weep uncontrollably. You decide to leave him to his misery. All right, um, that conversation went well. Uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's talk to this, uh, kindly looking older woman. Hello there, my name's Mom and I run this place. Got the best food north of New Reno, too. Um, you're not my mom. I know that, but everyone calls me that. Heck, I even treat people like they're my kin. Long as you obey my rules, that is. Uh, rules? That's right. No stealing, no cursing, and no fighting. Not in my shop, you don't. Cause if and you do, out you'll go. I like things peaceful here. Uh, I see. Let me ask you something else. Well, what did you want to talk to Mom about? Uh, let's see. 
Uh, what do you know about that haunted house? Hmm, don't know much about that. Someone's probably just having a little fun, that's all. Uh, has it always been haunted? Started about two years back. I heard ab about that moaning and the spirits and all. Don't believe it myself. Two years, huh? Anybody use that place back then? One of the boys used to sleep there a few years back. Maybe he knows something. Uh, who? He used to come by and try to pawn stuff, jewelry mostly. I remember a little gold locket he kept for himself. Locket? Strange. Who was it? Not sure. I think his name was Joseph. Joel or something like that. He's almost 19 now. A shame, really. I believe he's joined up with some local thugs. Uh, thanks. I had some, uh, other questions for you. Uh, let's see. What is there to do in town? Well, I sure need someone to deliver a meal to Smitty. He's just west of here at the junkyard. Will you do it for me? I'll give you a free meal if you do. Uh, sure. I don't mind. Thanks so much. I do it myself, but there's nobody to watch the place while I'm gone. Here's Smitty's meal. If uh, if I didn't have it brought to him, I'm sure he'd forget to eat. I'll bring it right over to him. All right. Um, let us deliver Smitty's meal. Oh, no. There we go. I stopped moving for some reason. Might as well do it now. He's probably hungry. Then I suppose we'll see if we can find this uh, Jimmy or Joel or whoever she was talking about. Jumpin' Jiminy, what can I do ya for? Uh, let's see. I brought your meal for moms. That was mighty darn kind of you. Thanks mucho, compadre. Here's a little something for your trouble. It'll come in handy around these parts. He hands you a stim pack. Thanks, Smitty. No problem. See you around. Alright, cool. Uh, we got a little stim pack. And I suppose... Oh, I wonder if... These group of apparent thugs, you see a thug, um, happen to be uh, this guy that mom was talking about. Uh, let's see. You looking for trouble? Uh, no, I'm not. Oh, this guy we can talk to. Hey man, I'm Joey. What you doing on my turf? Um, maybe I'm looking for you. Hey, I got some jet. It's great stuff. I'm brand new from Reno. Want some? Uh, no. I want some information. Uh, what do you want? Uh, I want to talk about a ghost that comes around here at night. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal a locket from that haunted house? I... I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I think you do. You stole a dead girl's locket, and now her spirit can't rest. Th that's f fucking crazy. Y you must have some really fucked up... Uh, you must be really fucked up on some of Tubby's shit. Uh, well, no, I, I did already murder Tubby. I, I I never saw no ghost when I stayed there. Just a bad trip wasn't fucking real. Uh, if you don't return it now, she'll come after you, and she can't be stopped. Here, now just leave me alone. 
Well, before we say gladly, let's see uh, what this guy has in... Uh, oh, nothing in the inventory. Nothing to sell or steal or anything. All right. Uh, gladly. All right. Let's see. We've delivered Smitty's meal. Um, and I guess we now have the... All right. Come over here. We have the, the locket, Anna's gold locket. This well-worn golden locket opens to reveal a charming picture. All right, um, let's... Oh, I... That was on the other screen. Well, we're here. Let's uh, let Mom know that we delivered Smitty's meal. Uh, that was good work. You must have worked up quite an appetite. I have a real treat for you as a reward. A combination plate of the best darn food I have here, just for you. That sounds great. Let me at it. You have quite an appetite there. I love to see a healthy eater. Will that do it for you? Uh, let's see what you got. Oh, hello, Nicola. How's it going today? Um, just started a little bit ago. Um, we uh, went down to mom's diner here, had a little conversation with her, and she wanted us to deliver a meal to Smitty, uh, the guy that is selling the car, which we did. He gave us a stim pack and she gave us a free meal. And on our way back, we found some, quote, thugs, um, end quote, and one of them had the locket that the ghost uh, is, you know, wandering about, moaning about, um, which we have right here, Anna's gold locket. So we're going to go uh, back and deliver it to the ghost and see what happens. Um, let's see. Eh, well, that's close enough. We'll we'll get uh get some money. We got uh four hundred eight dollars. Still pretty short from the thousand for Vic. All right, that's it for now. Goodbye, mom. When we first talked to mom, we got to um, tell her. You're not my mom, uh, which was fun. Sounds very prosperous. A little bit making side quest uh, progress, I guess. All right, let's uh, let's run back down here. Yeah, you did miss it. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, stand around here until midnight. There's our ghost lady. My locket, give it to me. Ooh. <laughs> I can say no way, go to hell, I found this fair and square. <laughs> I did find it fair and square. <laughs> Ghost voice is the best voice. <laughs> oh, sadly, this is the only ghost in the game. All right, okay, here you go. My locket, my locket. I'm coming, daddy, I'm coming. Uh, okay. Um... Wait, don't go! The house is clear. Uh, we, gained, uh, we gained three karma and 250 experience points. Alright. You should be a ghost every hour. <laughs> oh, if only. see 
Yeah, those kids are still stealing. Make sure um, I at least still have a car part. All right, I'm gonna save. I think I am just gonna kill this guy here. Um, let's see if we can steal from him first. No, doesn't look like we can. All right, uh, we got a good score there. So we can do some targeting. 80% um, chance to the head. And I miss. At least Sulik was able to knock him down with the sledgehammer. Who'll take care of my family? Oh, okay, that was weird. Um, my game froze up there for a second and then fast forwarded and I guess he's dead. Okay. Weird, I'm going to s save the game uh, in case something like that happens again. Okay, let's see. Oh, those kids stole that key card we found um, by that uh, crashed vertebrate. I'm taking all my stuff back. Um, let's see, leather armor, uh, that'll be an improvement over our leather jacket. Yeah, let's just take everything. Alright, very good. Um... Oh, we got... Well, nah, I think we're good there. Okay, now this kid shouldn't be... Oh, we got accosted by someone. Sir! Can you help a poor man down on his luck? Uh, here's five dollars. Thank you so much. I, I tried doing a hiccup before, but it says cough. Um, cough. So, so, so very much. You're welcome. And we gained one karma from that, and the kids by the doors are no longer stealing. So we've just murdered two shopkeepers in this town and stole all their stuff. Uh, very good. Uh, let's head back to the, uh, uh, the east side here. Uh, we haven't been up here. Um, you see... A sign for a place called the hole um, must be a bar don't bother me I'm scoping for nice chicks uh, good luck you'll need it oh shucks <laughs> very important conversation there uh, let's see. I'm Frankie, and you're standing in the hole. Best damn bar for a hundred miles. Everyone crawls into the hole when it's time to let loose. Now, you, now don't you be causing too much trouble, you hear? Yeah, I hear ya. What's your pleasure? Uh, info. Information I do not have. Well, I thought bartenders knew everything. Anything else? Uh, yes. Hmm. Uh, let's see what you got in your inventory. Nothing much but a gun. Um. Nothing today. Bye. Let me. I. 
Uh, was that not the guy that we were looking... Collect money from Fred. We're looking for Fred. <clears throat> um, I wonder if we could sell some stuff to Metzger. Not, not our companions. We're not selling anyone into slavery. Um... But if he's got some money, I got some things to sell. Uh, he's only got $121. That's too pricey. That's way too pricey. Uh, maybe we can sell him some beers. Some whiskeys. Some colas. Yeah, Nuka Cola. That crappy spear. Uh, that's more than that's worth, but that's fine. We don't want that spear, anyways. Definitely a feature as a voice actor. I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, does Vic. Oh, come on. Get out of the way, Sulik, please. Please get out of the way. Thank you. No, I can't talk to Vic. Um. Well, now I'm sad because I killed all all kinds of shopkeepers, and now who am I gonna sell stuff to? <laughs> of addicts, but no Freds. Hmm. Where, where, where? Oh, we have we have Becky's. I don't remember if we took out like all her money yet. Oh, uh, I tried to go into Rebecca's room. Uh, let's see. Uh, she's only got four dollars. Not even worth bothering. All right. Um, okay. We're finding Fred for her, so he wouldn't be in there. Um, Tubby's is up there. Maybe he's down in this... See, Lara's the person I should be talking to. These are gangsters. Uh, let's see who this is. Uh, the name's Lara. I run this gang. You better not be here to cause trouble, or you're in for a world of hurt. Uh, she won't barter with us. Uh, got any work? Well, it depends on what you're good at. There is so something I'm curious about. If you can find out, I'll pay you a bit. Sure, what's that? Well, there's a church east of here. Metzger has some people garden whatever is inside. Find out, and I'll pay you $200. Uh, sure, why not? Thanks, don't get in a fight yet. I have a plan. No problem. Oh, and I, uh, while we're here, I suppose we can talk. Uh, we've seen this weird symbol and these doors. Um, I know who these people are. Uh, any, uh, not everybody does, I guess, <laughs> unless you've played these games. Uh, let's see. We see a man in metal armor. Hello, Joe Davis. I'm Joshua. What can I do for you? Uh, can you barter? No, they can't. Uh, how do you know my name? Your recent activities have drawn attention to you. People talk, and people listen. And word gets around. You need to remember that you are only one small fish in an uh, ocean of sharks, Joe Davis. Uh, what do you mean by that? 
let's just say that you're the new kid on the block and you don't know what's going on in the neighborhood. There's a lot more going on than your simple quest. Uh, go on, I'm listening. The whole town talking about us, yeah. I've said enough for now. I think you should get about your business. Wait, I need to ask you some questions. All right, you're allowed one question. What will it be? Let's see. We can ask if he knows where to find a Gek. We can ask if he knows where to find Vault 13. And we can ask if he knows where Vic is. That would be a wasted question. Um, since we already know where Vic is. Um, I think the Gek question doesn't give us any kind of answer. I, I, I don't think any of them really give us any kind of answer. <clears throat> where to find the Gek? It's too obvious, so uh, let's just ask, uh, do you know where I can find Vault 13? I've heard plenty of tales about Vault 13, and none of them speak of its whereabouts. Good luck, Joe Davis. Uh, thanks. You see a door. There is nothing for you in there. All right, um, we see a marker. Uh, this is the symbol of the Brotherhood of Steel. This marker tells the Wasteland that this is their area and to leave immediately. Uh, let's see, what is down south? I don't remember. Okay, um, just more kind of <clears throat> crappy houses. Um, maybe Fred is in one of these houses. Let's see. Uh, what do you want? Never mind. Can you barter? Yes, you can. But you only have two dollars, man. Um, let's see, there's some more people over here. Maybe one of them is Fred. Squatter, squatter. Got anything to eat? This is our turf, he's squatting here too. Anyone hiding down here? Anything on the shelf? Oh, wait, there's a door down here. That's, oh, or uh, pathfinding and old CRPGs. They'll just go wherever they want. Fred, Fred, are you home? I see a small boy. Hi, mister. My name's Bobby, and I live here with my dad. I see. Well, that... Are you here because my dad owes you money? I don't know if he's here or not, but if I knew where he was, I'd tell you, because maybe you'd beat him up so bad he wouldn't ever come home again. Uh, it sounds like you're not too fond of your dad. Mind if I ask why? Because my dad's not very nice. He leaves me home alone all the time, and when he is home, he's always drunk or says he's flying on jet, which is a lie because I never see him fly anywhere. Sometimes he brings a girlfriend home. He's got lots of girlfriends, and he makes me go outside for a while, even if it's in the middle of the night and it's cold and raining. Uh, that's... Oh, and sometimes he tells me to take things from people in secret. He says it's a game and that he gives it back later, but I don't believe him. But if I don't do it, then he gets real mad and his eyes get all scary looking and he hurts me, see? He lifts up his shirt sleeve, revealing a nasty bruise on his arm. Um, well, that sounds like Flick. Um. Oh, 
horrible, horrible option. Um, this sounds horrible, Bobby. Your father has no right to treat you that way. No parent does. His eyes light up. You aren't like the others that come through here. I like you, he sighs heavily. I wish my dad was more like you. Sometimes I think about running away. Some of my friends don't have homes, and they say it's not so bad, as long as they bring Mr. Flick enough things. Oh, okay, so it's different from Mr. Flick. Um, they get to eat. One, uh, they get to eat once a day, but Mr. Flick doesn't sound very nice either. Actually, he sounds a lot like my dad. Uh, there's got to be something that can be done about this. Can you think of any adults in this town that would be willing to look after you? Or any of these homeless kids? Uh, Bobby shrugs. Maybe mom? I don't mean my mom. <laughs> my mom's dead. But there's a lady that people call mom. I don't know why. Maybe because she's real nice? She's got a diner on the other side of town. My homeless friends go there and she sneaks them free food. I wish dad would take me there. Because she knows how to make rat taste real yummy. Hmm, I am feeling a bit hungry. Perhaps I'll pay mom a visit. You take care of yourself, Bobby. This is tragic. Can we rescue Bobby? Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna give it the old college try, I think. Oh, there he is. You see a middle-aged man. Do I know you? Uh, well, before we get into... Oh, uh, he, he doesn't have anything. Anyways, Hiccup, do I know you? Uh, it's 11 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? Looks at you sleep sleepily. What? <gasps> it's 11 already? Actually, no it isn't. I just wanted to say that. But seriously, do you know where your children are? I have children. Uh, I can't keep doing this fake hiccup thing. Hiccup. Oh, yeah, I do. Here is she. Should be around here somewhere. Wow, you're such a drunk. Well, good thing I am working on a way to get your child out of here. Ignores what you just said. Yeah, that's great. Now let me get back to this drink. All right, uh, before we visit mom again, uh, let's just check the rest of these houses. See if there's any Freds around. There's a bookcase. Anything good? Nope. Nice to see ya, nice to see ya. I'm here for protection, talk to the dealer if you wanna buy. If you are looking to deal, I got the stuff. Sure, show me. Let's see what we got. got only $19. He's got some buff out. Uh, how many stim packs do we have? Oh, we got five. We're good. We, we should just be selling for, for money right now. All right. Um, doesn't look like Fred is down here. Um, all right. Let's head back up north. be one of these guys on the streets oh maybe oh uh, yeah looks like it huh do I know you what do you want 
I'm here to collect some money you owe someone, but first, what do you got on you? Nothing. Whole bunch of nothing. What are you talking about? I don't know. I don't owe anyone anything. Who the hell are you talking about? Uh, Rebecca. Oh gosh, I don't remember how much she said. Uh, it's probably the smaller amount. <laughs> we might be, I don't know. Uh, Rebecca says she lent you $200. Oh yeah, right. Rebecca lent me 200 Oh wait, maybe. Um, hand it over. Damn, I think you're right, but I'm almost broke. I can't afford that kind of money. I got to eat, you know. Sorry. Oh, damn it. I can barely afford $100. Could you spot me half? I promise I'll pay you back. All right, fine. Yeah, you better pay me back. Um, he does eventually pay us back. I, I do remember that. Like, we get more money later on in the game. Um, so let's, uh, let's, even, even though we're trying to raise a thousand and we're going to end up losing a hundred of our own money, we'll do a good deed and we'll get some, uh, experience points at least. Um, about that job, you didn't really get it, did you? I'd be amazed. Yes, I did. I can't believe it. How did you do it? Oh, never mind. I'm just stunned, that's all. To show my appreciation, I'll split it with you right down the middle. Thank you again. That was very honest of you. You're welcome. All right, 200 experience points, and we ra uh, went up five karma. Um, so, and we ended up breaking even there. So that's good. Um... Hmm. Okay, so we can check out the church now. Oh, actually, um, we'll we'll do the uh the thing with mom here first. Do a quick save just in case the game starts acting weird or crashes or anything. What did you want to talk to mom about? Uh, I noticed there seems to be a lot of orphans around town. It's a shame, isn't it? Those poor children living on the streets like that. A lot of them steal to get by, from outsiders mostly. So if you catch one of them trying to relieve you of something, please take pity on them. I'm not saying it's right, but it's a harsh world we live in. And we all do what we have to do in order to make it through the day. There's got to be something we can do about this. From what I hear, you seem to be the only person around that actually gives a damn about these kids. Why, of course I do. Children are our future. They don't have to grow up to be jet heads, thugs, and whores like most of the deadbeat parents. Why, with an education and some love and care, these kids could grow up to be, grow into kind of decent folks that we so desperately need in this world. I've tried establishing an orphanage for them, but sadly that didn't pan out. Well, maybe it's time to give it another try. I'm not going to be in town for too much longer, but I'll do what I can to help you while I'm here. Yes, perhaps you could help. You see, I procured a large building on the southwest side of here. With a little bit of work, we could make an excellent orphanage, but a bunch of lowlifes are squatting there and refuse to leave unless I pay an absurd fee. Even if I had the money... I wouldn't give it to them bullies. 
they just use it uh, to further poison themselves. I'd go to the authorities, but unfortunately, there's no such thing in the den. Perhaps you'd have better luck <clears throat> convincing them to leave. I'm sure I could get them out of there one way or another. I'll let you know once they're gone. All right. Is Jet like the illicit drug of this town? Um, Jet um, is a drug. Um, I don't remember if... Yeah, we, we do have some here. Um, so uh, some of the drugs in well like all of the drugs in this game are like made uh, made up like they have like their own names or whatever because you know futuristic game um but they all have real world counterparts so jet jet is a powerful methamphetamine that stimulates the central nervous system the initial euphoric rush rarely lasts more than a few minutes but during that time, the user is filled with a rush of energy and strength. So basically, Jet is meth. Um, but yeah, there, there's um, other drugs. Yeah, we, we have um, Psycho, uh, a, a unique delivery system filled with strange and unknown chemicals of probably military origin. It is supposed to increase the combat potential of a soldier. Oh, that's just Radax. Um, shall we pop some and try it out? We 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 can, um, <laughs> and you can actually become addicted to drugs in this game. Like you, you can actually do a run like as a drug addict, and then um, you know you're spending all your money on drugs um, to stop. Uh, from going through withdrawal, which is a real thing you can go through in this game. Uh, for the most part, I always avoid it unless it's something I feel like I'll really need, like like Psycho or Buff Out, and then I'll save to make sure I don't become addicted, you know, to get like a little bit extra strength or whatever. Uh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, I can't wait to eventually show off, um, Disco Elysium, which is, like, a newer role-playing game, um, where you play a, um, a cop, basically, who was sent to a town, uh, to, you know, handle, like, a murder investigation, um, but he's drunk and done drugs to himself so much that he has given himself amnesia. And that game you can play any way, basically any way you want, uh, which is amazing. And you put stats in these, like, internal attributes. So you have, like, electrochemistry, which is kind of like your drug and booze-fueled brain, like, screaming at you constantly, like, oh, man, dude, this guy's got drugs, we gotta do it. Um, yeah, D Disco Elysium might have actually unthroned my favorite role-playing game of all time, Planescape Torment, which is another one I would love to run. Uh, amazing story in that one. Also amazing story in Disco. But yeah, Disco is like one of my favorite games of all time, for sure. Oh, okay, we screwed that up. Uh, we're going to reload. Um... I guess I have to talk to those guys first. So we'll, I'll just uh, do this thing with mom here really quick. Okay. All right, we're back. Disco Elysium will give me a break from talking too because almost everything is actually narrated and I love the narration in that game. Um, all, all the uh, the voices and the actual narration narration is all of your characters like internal attributes which kind of reminds me of that animated movie I guess inside out where like all that person's emotions or whatever are visualized I guess I've, I've never seen it myself but I think that's what it's like um, 
so we will miss your accent work. <laughs> There'll still be other things for, for me to read. There's still plenty to read in that game. I guess I could throw in a uh, weird accent, I guess. Um, what are you looking at? Okay, we can talk to this guy. Who the hell are you and what do you want? Uh, can we bar- no, we can't barter. Um, uh, Metzger sent me. What the hell for? His stuff's not going anywhere. Well, he wants to be sure. Sure he did. I've never seen you around here before. Now beat it. Look, he had me come into town just to inspect his damn stuff. I could care less. Fuck it. Just go in. Does he think it's going to, uh, to up and leave? Who the hell would want that shit anyhow? Alright. Alright, let's see what they got in here. You see crates filled with various chemicals that are of no use to you. Okay, uh, that should um, be all we need. Uh, let's head back to the uh, the west part of town. Uh, let's talk to this uh, lady uh, since we're up here. So, did you find out what's in there? Uh, raw chemical compounds in large crates. That makes sense, actually. Thanks, here's your money. Well, why is that? I've seen caravans from Vault City come in here, uh, and then some of it gets picked up by caravans from New Reno. So, why does that make sense? New Reno is the chem capital around here. They have to get the raw materials to make their chems from somewhere, right? It seems like they're getting some, or all of it, from Vault City. Oh, well, where's New Reno? Not sure exactly. Somewhere to the south, I think. I've never been there. I just see their caravans stop by once in a while. Once in a long while. Oh, okay, thanks. You looking for some more quick and easy cash? Fifty dollars. Easy money. Sure. I need you to check with Metzger to see if he'd be okay if Tyler and I settled some old matters. He'll understand what I mean. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Uh, let's see. Head on down here. Um, deal with these squatters for Mom. Should be this um, L-shaped abode. Uh, do a quick save, of course. And yeah, um, with the chems, drugs, um, that uh, that is like, kind of like a actually a big side story in this game. Um, there, there's a whole big drug conspiracy thing going on <laughs> that we'll be uncovering. Uh, what do you want? I want you and your friends out of this building. It's come to my attention that mom intends to turn this place into an orphanage to get all those homeless kids off the streets and she can't do it with you squatting here. He snickers uneasily and glances at his fellow squatters for support. Mom knows the deal. We're not going anywhere until she coughs up the money so unless you brought us a million coins Fuck off. A million coins, huh? Uh, let's see. Look, Mom doesn't have that kind of money, and even if she did, she'd never pay you, so just forget it. Why not show some decency and go squat someplace else? Those homeless kids need this place a hell of a lot more than you do. 
Who are you to say we who deserves what? We like it here. You can't make us leave. Listen, you have two choices. You can either walk out of here on your own two feet, or I can remove you by dragging you out one corpse at a time. He exchanges a look with his fellow squatters, then looks back at you and nods. Okay, you made your point. It's not like we hate kids or anything. Well, most of us were homeless kids ourselves. We were just trying to make some money, you know? The only jobs around here involve peddling drugs or pain, and we're not into that. He sighs. We'll leave, but where do you suggest we go? This place is our home. I may regret saying this, but if you're serious about wanting jobs, I'm sure Mom could use some help fixing this place up. She's a real nice lady, so maybe if you apologize, she'd give you a fair chance to prove you're more than a bunch of lazy opportunists. I'll talk to her about it, but if you try to fuck her over, I'll hunt you down and make you pay. He exchanges a look with the other squatters and ponders your words. You know what? That doesn't sound too bad. In fact, that could work out great. If you really think mom will go for it, while you go talk to her, we'll get started on cleaning this place up. And oh, thanks for being so cool about things. Oh, come on, Sulek. You're always in my way. Thank you for moving. All right, um, let's uh, head back up to Mom's, and we also have to go talk to Metzger for Lydia, I believe her name was. Um, all right, um, Metzger's garbage place is a little closer, uh, and I will save... Always save constantly in this game, but always save before talking to Metzger. And there will be people in the future uh, where that will be even more important. Um, oh, Laura, not Lydia. Um, Laura wanted me to ask you for permission to fight Tyler. What the hell crawled up her ass all of a sudden? I gave that bitch a chance a while back. Didn't think she had the balls to try this. Uh, what are you talking about? Oh, don't play coy with me. I know exactly what she's planning to do. I gave her a chance a while back, and she couldn't cut it. But if she thinks she's up to it... So, it's okay? Well, <clears throat> I did say the offer would remain open. If she finally thinks she can kick his ass and is better able to guard my shit. So that's a yes? Look, I don't give a shit which one of them guards it. Just as long as none of my goods are damaged, I don't care. Okay, thanks. Oh my gosh, this is the stream where Sulik is constantly blocking doorways. Get out of the way, dude. Thank you. My god. Alright, head down here to talk to mom about the orphanage. Uh, let's see, the squatters said they'd leave and that they're sorry for causing trouble. They're currently cleaning the place up to try uh, to make it up to you. I was thinking maybe if they do well enough, you could offer some of them jobs. Hmm, well, I don't su I suppose everyone deserves a second chance. I'll stop over there with some friends and we'll talk things over with them. Thank you so much for helping me with this. If you're still in town in a few days from now, you should stop by. 
Hopefully we'll have things up and running by then. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks again. Here, this meal's on me. Thanks, Mom. See you around. All right, we got a meal and we went up a level. Um, all right, uh, what do we have here? Knock speech up, of course. Knock up small guns. Lock pick. Um, Let me get science up a bit too. We'll, uh, we're, we're definitely going to want to be messing with computers in this game a bit. Uh, so we should work on that. Um, small guns, most important for me. Um, doctor would be nice, but I think it's only for like one or two locations for some um, major stuff. Yeah, that's good. Science will be um, more often more important, though. And, oh, okay, we're, we're radiated. I suppose we could deal with some of the radiation. We'll take some rat away. And now we're addicted to rat away. All right, let me do this Metzger thing again really quick. I didn't want to become addicted so quickly to a drug. Um, Okay. All right. We are all caught up again. Um, we'll uh, just set um, set some uh, points in here. Good enough. Good enough. Right, um, do another save. And let's try to clear out this radiation again. All right, we did it without becoming addicted. So that is good. Um, let's see what we got here. So all we have left in the den is to free Vic and to get the car apart for Smitty. Um, do we have anything else in Klamath? No. Arroyo. Find Sulik's missing sister. Okay, so... All right, let's go back to Lara. Um, I think we'll try out a little action here. So, did you talk to him yet? What did he say? Uh, he said, yes, if you win, you can have their job like before. Great, I was hoping as much. I hear he's been complaining about them lately. Here's your money. Well, I assume there's something else now. We can't take them at their present strength. They have extra funding and slightly outnumber us. If you can find some kind of weakness we could use to balance out the odds or something we can exploit. Hmm, find a weakness? How am I supposed to do that? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you to help. I'll try. A 
a lot of back and forth between different areas of the town. I remember when this game first came out before a major patch on my old computer back in 98, this, like, it would be like minutes between each screen, which was insane. Um, oh, okay. Thanks, Alexa. I don't know if the mic picked that up. Um, let's see, how's it going? Actually, great. Almost forgot, a buddy of mine wanted big at the tables, and he's sharing the wealth. If you know what I mean. Hmm, big plans then. Yeah, he's throwing a party tonight at his place. Should be a blast. Hey, down a few brews for me, bro. You better believe it. We're going to drink until we drop. All right. Sounds like there will be less people guarding the church then. So we are going to join up with Lara and her gang and um, take out some of uh, those guards there. Did you find anything? Yeah, they're having a party tonight. Excellent. They're sure to have a skeleton crew. Those should be good odds. We'll take out uh, the party after we hit the church. And my money? I don't think so. You'll have to come with us uh, if you want your money. You won't have to fight, but just to be sure it's not a trap, we'll give you $300 total. Which will put us up to enough money to um, pay off Metzger and get Vic. Okay, let's do it. Okay. All right, so all the, uh, the, the four guards that are left in the church are yellow, so we could just stand around here, actually, and not do anything, and see who actually wins, which is an option. Uh, Lara's gang or Tyler's gang. And... Oh, now my game is freezing up. All right, uh, one second, screen is gonna go black as I uh, close down the game, which seems to be a once a stream occurrence. Um, what does yellow mean? Uh, caution, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> um, it means they're not, um, they're not hostile to us. Right, right, yeah. They, they, they won't attack us um, until we attack them. Alrighty, so... Oh, well, now these guys are red. Oh well, uh, we, we were going to attack them anyways. Everybody, it's target practice. Loser. Um, let's take a couple steps closer. Everybody's kind of bunched up together. Um, 
Um, let me. I want. I, I want to see uh, how much damage this uh, desert eagle does. Well, I missed. Very good. Oh well. Alright, a um, couple guards are dead, which is good. I think we'll probably win this. Hopefully they have some goodies on their body for me to uh, steal and sell to someone else once I, once I find someone with um, some money. Man, Lara shot me. This guy's pretty strong. Laura shot me again. I guess I guess Lara is saying this while while she's knocked out. <laughs> All right, we took care of the skeleton crew here at the church, but there still is Tyler and his cronies over in the residential area. They should be pretty drunk by now. We can easily catch them off guard. You ready to finish this? Uh, let me heal first. I'll tell you when I'm ready. Well, don't stray too far. We need to finish this tonight, or we'll do it without you. I'll be back shortly. Mostly because I want to see what we got here. S uh, steal everything from these corpses. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, wait, uh, I probably should heal a little bit. <clears throat> oh, where, where are my, there's my stim packs. And do a quick save, of course, of course. All right, now we're ready. Uh, let's go. Who the? Hey, it's you. You come to hiccup party with us? I knew you would. Tyler stumbles over to you and grabs your shoulder. Did I ever tell you how much I... He spies Laura's gang. What the fuck? No fucking way. This party ain't ending. Hiccup. 
because of some fucking bitch and her cronies. Time to lock and load, guys. Can I barter? No, I can't barter. All right, time to fight. Oh, uh, let's see. We're pretty close. Let's uh, target this person's head. And yes, uh, once we get through this, we should have enough money to um, get our uh, good friend Vic. All right, um, we critically hit that guard in the leg, uh, knocking her down and crippling that leg. So if she tried to run away or, well, now she can't run away because she's dead. Um, but if she did, she wouldn't be able to move very far per turn. Okay. Um, let's go for a groin shot. Tyler was critically hit in the in the head. Oh, I, wow, was my shot off? I went for a groin shot and I hit him in the head. Uh, uh, for nine points, the attack crushes the temple. Good night, Gracie. Oh, oh, that 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 was a previous one. Um, I just hit a thug in the groin for thirteen hit points. Not very fun. I am almost dead to... Oh, no, but nobody, sh nobody attack me, please. I, I need to heal. Thank you. on one second I got oh no what's going on all right looks like I crashed <sighs> this game old games <laughs> My gosh, all right, let's try that again. All right, okay, I, I did take everything, I'm all healed up. All right, let's go. I already did that.
we were slowly getting somewhere before, but... Well, what can you do? Old games, they crash. I should keep a better eye on my uh, hit points uh, this go around. I like that one gar that is just doing punches and kicks in a room filled with people with weapons. <laughs> yeah. Okay, alright, I should heal up on my next turn here. Okay, that guard lady is finally down. And I'm crashing again, oh my god. The instruction reference memory. I don't understand. Let me, let me just shut down Steam, or uh, close out of Steam and then open it back up. All right, uh, where are you, Steam? There you are. Oh, this is annoying. Uh, annoying me. Every time we're making progress, that happens. All right, um, I critically hit the guard in the eyes for 26 hit points, causing blindness. She grimaces. That's a good example of what happened. So she tried to shoot at me and hit someone else because she's blind. Um, 
let's go after the right arm. Okay, good. All right, she got knocked down. My next turn, okay, here we are. I'm gonna try another save slot here in case it, you know, crashes again. Let's see if we can actually get past that. Okay, looks like a couple of guards are dead. I guess I'm just robbing bodies of things because I'm, I guess there's someone in that side room over there. Oh, they, they, they must have, some people must have ran away. All right, let's, uh, I guess, head on into this room. Uh, I can't save. Well, if you've murdered them, might as well rob them. That's right. Hmm. Not not good chances with the actual targeting, so we'll just shoot him. All right. Eckhart is dead. You helped Lara's gain to win the gang to win the battle. You gain 1,000 experience points. We did it! I can't believe it! We're heading back to the church to take charge. Meet us back there for your reward. Alright, let's get our reward. Oh, and I should save in case of crash. So we don't have to do that yet again. Alrighty, let's get our cash. Thanks, here's your money and $100 extra. All right, perfect. Let's see what we're up at. $1,174, okay. Um, let's stand around here until morning. So it's a daylight out, perfect. And let's head on into the Slaver's Guild and talk to our boy Metzger about Vic. 
How's it going? Pretty good, I'd say. Now what, damn it? Uh, about Vic? What about him? Uh, we've already... Blah, 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 blah. Um, maybe some money might help clear things up. Are we finally getting Vic, Vic back? Well, hopefully. Uh, $1,000. Okay, here. Okay, he's yours. But get his ass out of here before I change my mind and put a bullet in that stupid fucking head of his. Thank you. But first, got any more money? No, you don't. Alright, thank you. Alright, let us talk to our boy Vic here. Thank you. I'm forever in your debt. What can I do to repay you? Uh, you can tell me where Vault 13 is. Vault 13? There's a Vault City east of here. I trade there sometimes. Uh, where did you get this water flask? Ed's over at Vault City. He's a Brahmin dealer. He was just uh, one of many suppliers. Vault City is not too far from here. Does Vic come adventuring with us like Sulik? Um, you can have him, or you can decide not to have him. Uh, we'll, we'll have him come along. Um, Vault City? Vault City is east of here. I'll point it out on the map of yours. Um, you got any money, Vic? No, you don't. I think I already checked before. Uh, Want to go there with me? Sure, I'll join up with you. This old fart has one big adventure left in him. I'm sure of it. I'm pretty good at repairing things, too. Despite what Metzger says. Great. Let's go. Alright. Uh, let's see. We got we got Vic. Um, he doesn't have much of anything there. Let's... Uh, I need to ask you something. Never mind. Let's talk about your gear. Uh, what kind of weapons can you use, Vic? Well, boss, I'm pretty good with small arms. I can handle almost any rifle, shotgun, and most small medium pistols. I can use knives. I've also got a pretty good throwing arm, but my arm's not the best in the world, actually. It's pretty horrible. Sorry, boss. I'm really trying to get better. Okay, so he's pretty good with small arms. He can handle almost anyone. I'm pretty good with small arms. Uh, let's see. 44 Magnum FMJ. What was this? JHP 44 Magnum JHP. Okay, you can have 60 shots of that. Let me actually see if this gun has any ammo in it. Yeah, it's got six bullets. So you got 66 shots there. Um, we'll give you this combat knife in case you run out of ammo and I'm not paying attention. Oh, and do I have any armor? Oh, yeah, I got a leather leather jacket you can have. Okay. Use best weapon. 44 Magnum revolver and leather jacket are on. All right, that's it for now. All right, we have our second companion. So we got Sulik and Vic, and our next location 
is uh, Vault City, supposedly. I do like a after after we kill Tubby, now there's like an out of business sign on his store. Oh, Tubby. But we'll, we'll be coming back here. Um, I could try taking out the Slaver's Guild now, but I think I'll wait until we level up a bit and we get the other car part. So when we come back to um, uh, purchase the car, uh, we'll take out, we'll kill the entire Slaver's Guild. And I guess also visit uh, mom down in the orphanage, see what's going on there. So we'll have a couple of fun things to do um, later on when we revisit the den. So Vault City is all the way over here. Some unknown place to the northeast of Vault City. So I guess um, we can start heading um, east here. Then we can just run over the slave traders with the car. Unfortunately not. <laughs> you don't actually get to drive drive the car. It just makes like this map screen a lot quicker um, to get through. Oh, it's that Kaga guy again. Remember when he accosted us as soon as we left Arroyo? I guess he's back because we didn't kill him. Um, now we might have a fighting chance. Let me just save down here. We'll call that Kaga. I guess we'll uh, we'll see uh, if we if we can uh, manage to get through this battle and take out Kaga. And I'm like almost dead. Yeah, this isn't going well for me at all. Yeah, and they got a lot of hit points too. Actually, I'm going to reload. Let's see if I can just run out of here. without dying. I can't remember if the Ka the Kaga stuff might have been added back in with the restoration uh, project patch that I installed on this. All right, we should be able to get out of here on my next turn. Okay, good. All right, um, back to heading uh, east. And we've encountered some highwaymen.
And I've died. Not even the carrion eaters are interested in your radiated corpse. And not going very well at all. Okay, let's try this again. We've encountered some robbers. Uh, maybe these guys will be easier to uh, take out, hopefully. Okay, all right, one down. And Sulik was killed. We're, we're not going to have that. Red scorpions and spore plants. Boy, is this annoying. <laughs> I'm not getting good luck here at all. This is a dangerous spot. Yeah, it is.
Okay, well, we made it through that. Oh, what do we have here? We encounter some robbers. I'm just gonna slowly walk away. See you later, fellas. I'm sure you can handle it yourselves. And Sulik was killed. Oh my god. Let me... Thank you for fighting for me, people I bought who aren't slaves. Right. Ah, uh, some golden geckos. Okay, let me just do this. Just going out into the wasteland. Um, we'll save part way there. And hopefully continue on to our next settlement. A merchant party ambushed by robbers. So, at least um, the robbers are busy with the merchant party. So we can at least run away. They're not just attacking us for once. Thank God. It's that Kaga guy again. Are you kidding me?
Man. <sighs> you have perished. Not cool, game. Not cool. I don't like how, like, overpowered. Let me try going up a bit. Is that Kaga? Yes, it's Kaga. Oh my god. Yeah, he really wants us dead. It's ridiculous. I don't like how overpowered these guys are. At, like, the beginning of this game. And I'm dead again. Couldn't make it out. You have died. Your village is lost. Doomed to die of starvation. <laughs> Do we wish to encounter some angry bandits? Uh, I think not. All right, um, I think I am just not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna reload and hope we just get lucky with something here. My God, this is kind of a uh, really bad luck. I can't remember having such bad luck in the past. You're gonna make me save every couple of steps, aren't you, game? You jerk. No thanks to the angry bandits, that is right. We, we don't want, we want nice, polite bandits. That's who we want. Kaga? Hey, it's that Kaga guy again. We need to increase our luck points, yeah, that and probably Outdoorsman, but there's much better stats to increase. Um, Alright, at least I'm able to get out of here. Do we wish to encounter some highwaymen? Absolutely not. Alright, we'll save again. Let's take some jet and get a nice burst of energy to destroy this Kaga fella. <laughs> I'm sure we'll destroy him in the future once we... Um, once we uh, level up some more and I get some better weapons. When, when, once I get my hands on the sniper rifle, which is my go-to weapon in this game, and get small arms up a bit more we'll, we'll be we'll be good we'll be taking out eyeballs and everything we we'll get some of that methy energy Sulik was killed. Reload. Sounds like something to look forward to. That's right.
Okay, we encountered some farmers. Okay, we can deal with farmers. You just keep your hands where I can see them. We've been plagued by bandits lately. Really? Really? I haven't seen a single one. And I think you just might be one of them. What do you want? I just want to trade for supplies. Well, I guess there's no harm in that. Here's what I got to trade. Six dollars, really? What garbage do I have? That would be like six dollars. Man, I don't... Get out of here, farmer. Get out of here. Just go. Alright, um, we'll save in this little safe farmer area. And try to continue on. Oh, cutscene. Old man, you will come with us. Leave us alone. I will never support your cause. Uh, I will not ask you again. Come with us or you'll be made an example of. I would rather have the knowledge that I'd disappear with me into the grave. So be it. Kill them all. Dialogue. This is none of your affair. Turn around and walk away. A dialogue went by too fast for me. <laughs> uh, yes, um, that was a little cutscene that we just saw. A um, couple of dudes with some crazy armor and a really big dude with some crazy armor. Let's do some corpse robin. Um, we got a knife. Seems to be about it. Oh, there's a knife on the ground. I've got two voices that really bad southern accent question mark and the angry voice that that's all i got uh, and i guess the ghost voice um all right yeah so who were those dudes who were those dudes i don't know will we see them again in the future Got some spore plants. Think I'm going to run away. Okay, good. We are out. I'm just going to save in the middle of the wasteland here. Guess not. Looks like this is a merchant party fending off some rad scorpions. I 
Actually, maybe, maybe we'll help him out. Um. Might be able to sell some stuff. Hopefully to the merchants. These are actually merchants. Red scorpions, I guess, aren't that big of a deal. We're not the only ones fighting them. too much of a do-gooder for these merchants. Sad, sad, sad. Let's see, we see a hermit. Can you guess why I hermit? It seems he hasn't spoken to anyone in years. Uh, why? Me want left alone. Uh, well, since I'm here, maybe we can barter. I'm sure I have something you might want. Trade, then leave you will. Okay, here's what I have to trade. And only eight. This guy's not even worth trading. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Um, let me just get the Vault City. Um, I, I think we missed a couple of settlements on the way. Uh, I just want to get to some kind of civilization. Um, and maybe next stream I'll go back and wander uh, to get to the uh, other little little smaller towns um, that I think we passed. It's either like down there oh, some highwaymen tracking uh, with wild dogs. No, we'll pass. It's either like up here or like down here. I don't remember. But we're right here at Vault City. Um, 1705. Okay, good enough. Alright, let's see. You are on the outskirts of Vault City. Inside the walls lie orderly rows of pristine white adobe buildings.
All right, let's head on in. Talk to Wallace if you're looking to get into the city. That guy says, get out of my face. All right, let's head on into the greeting office. Welcome to the greeting office. I'm Steve. Hello, and welcome to Vault City, the best city in New California. I'm Steve. How can I help you? Well, what do you mean by the best? Um, he looks at a pamphlet in his hands. Uh, you weren't supposed to ask that. There's no answer for that in here. Well, do you know anything? Reading from the pamphlet, if the outworlder, that must be you, insults you, that must be me, then refer them to the chief greeting officer. Oh, I'm to refer you to Melinda, the chief greeting officer. <sighs> I'll go talk to her then. Hello, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Welcome to Vault City. Is there anything I can help you with? Uh, is this fenced-in area the city? No, no. Don't let the surroundings confuse you. You're currently standing in the courtyard. The actual city lies to the north. Well, what's the difference between the two areas? The courtyard is an area where we protect the less fortunate outworlders. Many live within our protection and add to the splendor of Vault City. The inner city is where the citizens of the city live. Oh, hello, uh, Croy, Croy, <laughs> I'm sorry uh, for butchering that uh, name. <laughs> hello, how's it going? Um, why do only citizens live in the inner city? Well, to build a better life for everyone, we must be vigilant in protecting ourselves from outside influences. And that means separating yourselves? We don't do it for ourselves, we do it for the betterment of everyone. Want to show me your build? Oh, you mean like uh, how, how I have my character set up? Yeah, I, I can pull that up. Um, once I get out of this dialogue. Um, Alright, can I ask you something else? Uh, I'm looking for the vault. Our vault? It is located within the city. However, I must tell you only citizens are allowed in the vault. Well, I need to get into the vault. I'm sorry. I, as I said, only citizens are allowed in the vault. I cannot grant you access. Talk to Wallace, our customs official. He might be able to help. You'll find his office at the north end of the courtyard. Um, let me ask you something else. Uh, who are you at the end of the conversation? My name? Why, it's Melinda. I'm the chief greeting officer for Vault City. Yeah, sounds like a tough job. My work benefits Vault City, and I have the privilege of being able to talk to travelers about the grandeur of the city. Oh, come on. It has to be a little boring sometimes. I take great pride in the work that I do for Vault City. You'll have to excuse me, but I have some very pressing business to attend to. Good day. But first, will you barter? No, you will not. Okay, um, yeah, this is my character so far. Focusing uh, more on small guns, lockpick, and speech at the moment. Gifted trait, awareness, and, well, yeah, I guess we picked up gecko skinning for saving Smiley, I believe. 
Whoa, seven charisma. <laughs> yeah, it, it has not helped us at all in the random encounters. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I only took the one trait. Um, I wasn't really feeling any of the others, really, um, this, this, uh, this time. Oh, let's see, you see a very stiff woman, she looks like... Oh, well, wait, no, that was, uh... Let's look at this guy, you see a gaunt man. His hair is plastered to his head in ragged clumps, and his skin is hanging loosely on his um, body. I believe this guy wants some rad, rad X, rad away. All right, he's. Um, He's uh, making some sounds now. Have I played Fallout 1 and 2 a lot? Uh, yeah, uh, more so in the past. It's been some years um, since I've I've played these again. Um, but yeah, like uh, back in 1998, I think is when Fallout 2 came out, thereabouts. Uh, was actually the first time I played it, um, um, like after it came out. Uh, and that was the first Fallout that I played. Um, I didn't even know Fallout 1 existed, so I started with 2, then went to 1, then went to Tactics, and then, you know, all, all the rest. Um, but yeah, ba back in the day I played this a bunch of times, but it's been a while since I've replayed, so I thought it would be fun to come back to it. Alright, let's head into this bar. And talk to the bartender. Well, now, ain't seen you around before, stranger. Name's Cassidy. I run this place. What can I do for you? Uh, anything interesting going on around here, Cassidy? Interesting. <laughs> Friend, Vault City ain't an interesting place. Unless the guards get bored, then you better take cover. Why are you asking? You looking for something in this sinkhole? It's a classic for a reason. Heck yeah, it is. These are great, great classics. Uh, let's see. It can't be that bad here. Oh, really? Well, hell then, I must be mistaken considering you're the authority and all. Guess you must have been napping during a raid last week. Uh, raid? Oh, yeah. A beautiful sight it was. A guard patrol broke in here looking for illegal substances. They busted down the door, busted up my stock, and then busted up a few of my customers, too. Well, what happened after that? After they hauled away this one guy, Joshua, for resisting arrest, they fined my ass for finding, get this, real whiskey on the premises. Real whiskey? Never mind that I got a permit from Stark three months before. Bastards. Whoa, no kidding. Oh, it gets better. Now I'm in debt to the guards for the fine, and I had to buy a new case of alcohol from a merchant at triple my standard rate. I'm expecting the guards to come knocking again soon just to bust my chops. What's it like most of the time? Even the good days ain't worth the damn. The citizens don't drink much, so I'm stuck here pouring drinks for merchants. The next chief son of a bitch at Hegel's for a drink is going to be wearing his ass as a hat. Well, why are you here if you hate it so much? Uh, I have a bad heart. Need cardio booster shots to keep it beating. This city's the only place to get real medical care, so I thought I'd settle here, try and make a living. Oh, you sound pretty fed up with the place. Makes me want to close up shop and let this city rot. Screw them all. Gotta love Cassidy, that's right. Gotta get Cassidy to join my group here. Uh, let's see, why don't you leave? Go into the waste by myself? <laughs> I'm sick of this place, but I ain't stupid. Well, I'm heading out that way again. Why don't you come along? <laughs> 
You serious? Sure, why the hell not? You look like you know how to take care of yourself in a fight. Alright, count me in. Is this the restoration version? Uh, yeah, I, I, I did install that. Um, so, yep, this is, uh, this is that. Alright, let's hit it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's talk My about gear. your gear. What about it? Well, shotguns and rifles mostly. Just personal preference. I ain't a bad shot with pistols, neither. If you ever need to learn somebody some manners up close and personal, slip me some brass knuckles and I can tap dance on their face with my fists. Great. Anything else? Oh, uh, well, just between you and me, I can also use a spear pretty good. Me and my buddies used to hunt red scorpions with spears way back when. In fact, I'm alive and they ain't might tell you something. Hey, nothing wrong with using a spear. Don't want people mistaking me for old Bonos over there. <laughs> I ain't never seen no tribal do something as dumb as jam a bone in his nose. Well, did you know that I'm a, quote, tribal, end quote, question mark? Aw, oh, don't be playing with old Cassidy now. You ain't no tribal. Uh, yes I am. Uh, well... Damn it all, you can have my apology right here and now. I didn't mean any offense. All right, forget it. Let's well, move now, on. Well, now, before you go, I got a question for you. What are we doing out here? We seem to be running all over the place looking for something. Have we got some sort of plan? Hey, we haven't run anywhere as of yet. <laughs> we're still in your bar, Cassidy. <laughs> Well, we're looking for a Gek, a Garden of Eden creation kit. My village needs it to restore their crops. Them things come in kits now, huh? Man, the good book don't mention that, does it? Well, all right then. Let's get hunting. All right, let's go. All right, you're good with shotguns. I'll let you have that. And I do have brass knuckles. Um... Just put that there. Yeah. Okay, you can have the shotgun. You can have some shells. And we'll give you these brass knuckles as a backup. There you go, buddy. See the character screen again? Sure. Yeah, so far so good, although we were getting um, some pretty bad luck on the way here um, with random encounters. <laughs> uh, let's see, I got a kid here. I lost my friend while playing in the courtyard. His name is Mr. Nixon. If only the citizens would let him go. Oh, what do you want? Are you okay? You look upset. I, well, it's my husband, Joshua. He got into some trouble in the bar. I accidentally struck a citizen and he was arrested and was arrested. He didn't mean to, but he's been drinking and, well, arrested. Where is he now? Inside the city in the Servant Allocation Center. They said he could work off his prison sentence as a servant, but that'll take years. Well, what can be done? <laughs> That's half the fun. <laughs> uh, that's true. <laughs> um, I don't have much money left and we'll have to leave soon um, if we can't afford to pay the guards for protection. They said if we want to stay with Joshua, then they could make us servants too. Uh, that sounds like a solution. <laughs> 
Uh, let me see what I can do, okay? Maybe I can talk to someone at the allocation center. Uh, the man in charge is Barkus, Officer Barkus. I couldn't even get inside the city to see him. I don't even know if Joshua is all right. I Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. It's just a pile of rocks. I can't remember if that Nixon doll is back here or not. You see a small pile of rocks. They almost look like they are stacked on purpose. It's just a pile of rocks. You need the doll for that. Oh, right, right. Oh, wait. There we are, Mr. Nixon doll. Uh, you see a small doll with a big red nose. For some reason, you don't trust the seemingly innocent child's toy. I lost Mr. Nixon. I don't know where I left him. <laughs> uh, this him? He was looking around for you, too. You found him. You found Mr. Nixon. Sure I did. He didn't go far. Now keep an eye on him for now. from now on, okay? Well, never trust a doll. That's right. Um, let me see. Oh, right, right, right. Thank you, Mr. Nixon. Do you want to go dig up Daddy's wrench? No, Mr. Nixon. Daddy will be mad we buried it. But it's buried under those rocks just behind the bar. We could go get it right now. No, Daddy will be mad. It's best to just lie, just like you told me, Mr. Nixon. Would you like some tea, Mr. Nixon? Why, yes, I would, Curtis. Here you go, drink up. Thank you, Curtis. Sadly, I can't do a Nixon impression. Thank you, Mr. Nixon. Hey, I found a wrench buried under the rocks. That I almost completely forgot about until you mentioned that. <laughs> All right, we got ourselves Daddy's wrench. You here to get patched up? Uh, what is this place? This here is the common body shop for Va Vault City. Me and the old doctor in the back patch up whoever needs some attention. Old doctor? Yeah, the auto doctor in the back room there. It's a loner from the city. It can be a little ornery sometimes, but mostly it does the job. Mostly. Uh, ornery, huh? Maybe I'll take a look at it. Yeah, I don't know how... 
this is going to go with my god-awful repair skill. Oh, that's right. I got Vic. Get in there, Vic. Repair that. The damage wasn't as bad as it seemed. Some interior cables needed to be replaced and the diagnostic board clean. No problem. Alright, perfect. Thank you, Vic. Uh, let's see, what was this place again? Old doctor. Uh, yeah, I replaced some of the cables and cleaned out the interior. It shouldn't give you any more trouble. Uh, well, thank you very much. That was decent of you to volunteer to fix it like that. Nah, well, yeah, no problem. Glad to help. So, was there something I could help you with? Um... Eh, you don't want to barter with me? Come on. Oh, well. All right, I'm gonna pop on another save here and, um, yeah, um, I've been streaming for a couple hours and I gotta get up kind of early tomorrow, so I'm um, sad for everybody. Um, I think that's where I'm gonna end it tonight. Um, if I didn't have to work tomorrow, which I wish I didn't. I'd love to stay and play some more now that we finally made it into Vault City, but I guess I'll keep the rest of this wonderful, wonderful city in suspense for everybody. Um, there's a very easy side quest next to the farm. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get all that um, next time, I guess. I gotta get to bed. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, uh, thanks to everybody for stopping by. It was nice chatting with all y'all. And I will hopefully be back soon. When will I stream again? Um, I don't have any kind of schedule, really. Um, I'm, I usually start, like, sometime when, when I do actually stream, like, sometime between 9.30 and 10 p.m. Eastern. Um, but my, my work schedule is random. Um, I might be back for more, maybe I do get out early enough tomorrow. I'd say, um, if not tomorrow night, Saturday night, I would be back for more. Um, so not too long. I previously took a few days off because of work stuff, but, um, yeah, I'd say either tomorrow night or the next night, somewhere between 9.30 and 10 p.m. Eastern, um, is the usual time that I pop on. All right, uh... All right, yeah, if you do come back, uh, we're, hap we're happy to have you. I'm happy to have you. <laughs> All right, have a good night, everybody. Um, thank you for hopping in.